Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rinse at a time, back with our Wednesday guest, Matt, the mortgage guy, who is now nationwide. Yay! <laughs> You're as excited as we are. Oh man, I got—I can't tell you how many people have messaged me going, "Can he help me in Tennessee? Can he help me in Texas?" And I'm like, "Well, he kind kind of help you, but he's really California." Now you're nationwide. Now I just go, boop, greater more great mortgagebroker.com. You've made my life easier. So thank you for that. Right. Cool. Yeah, I know. And that was the thing too, is I had to tell so many people can't help you, but let me try to find somebody. And literally like that was hours of my week. Yeah, sure. Like, I've got, and I was trying to add people to an Excel spreadsheet. Like, okay, I know this person in Tennessee. I know this person, Oregon, you know, that got tiring. And then I bet. <laughs> opportunity came along where it's like right company, right culture. Let's let's do this thing. Let's go nationwide. Let's serve all these folks because yeah. ultimately like that's, that's the goal. Serving well, as many people as possible. The feedback from one rental at a time, this channel, my course, especially that you're a part of has been awesome. So you have made my life easier being nationwide. So uh, cool. I appreciate it. So all right. Cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. That's all that matters, right? My <laughs> right. life. It doesn't matter. <laughs> of course I kid. Well, hey, one of the things we've talked about is interest rates are rising. We talk about BIPs and basis points and all of these things. The average person doesn't do it. So I thought what we should do is we should talk about, you know what, let's take a scenario from early August, which was kind of the floor to today. And let's look at what the interest rate is. So set it up and uh, maybe we'll even do some payment calculations. Yeah, for sure. Because what I did was I looked at it. Um, somebody had posted something and they had posted um, basically speaking to consumers about like, hey, don't wait, showing what rates look like on August 2nd versus mm -hmm. today. And this might've been a few days ago. The only problem is they said rates have gone up 180 basis points. And I know, cause I talk to consumers day in and day out. What that basis means. Points is yeah. like speaking another language. to folks. Yeah. And so what the heck um, is a basis point or a BIP? Oh my God. Right. Vernacular. Yeah. And so I've got literally thousands of scenarios that, that I've sent to clients and we always date it. That way we can, you know, we circle back with somebody and they're always like, Hey, I'm still interested in refinancing. What does it look like now? Take that old scenario, adjust it because rates change every single day yep. and then redate it. And, and sometimes it's, it's funny, Mike, in my business, I've got folks where it's like eight, two, eight, nine, eight, 14, eight, 23, eight, 30. And, and these are dates. Right. And yeah. they're like, what does it look like today? And then I'm like, I've been showing you this <laughs> stuff for two months and you haven't taken action. Please yeah. help me help you. You like it, lock it. Right. Yeah. And so, um, Unfortunately, if you were somebody that looked at rates on August 2nd and you didn't take action and now it's October uh, 13th, uh, rates have changed a little bit. So what I did yeah. was I took an old scenario and um, I found one that was August 2nd. Okay. And it was just a, a rate and term refinance where, um, you know, 70% loan to values and, and, and decent credit. So a safe, so a safe loan. Right. Right. Okay. And, and it's not the best of the best. It's not like 800 credit and sub 60% LTV. So I didn't cherry pick like the very best of the best, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, pricing is still pretty sharp for somebody with, with, with good credit and 70% loan to value at that time, August 2nd, without paying any points at all, you could have got a 2.689 on a 30 year fixed. <laughs> wow. 2.69, no points, um, no points. And so I did wow. apples to apples what would be your rate paying zero points today? Same exact scenario and 3.04, which is still amazing. You know, let's, let's not kid ourselves that, that a 3% yeah. 30 year fixed is not anything but amazing, but it's almost exactly three eighths of almost, a percent. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that people are going to relate to more like, your scenario might be different. It might be cash out. It might be an investment property. It might be, you know, a different loan to value. If it was 2.875, expect it to be about three and a quarter. Yeah, if it was 3%, eighths, yeah. expect it to be 3.375, about three eighths of a percent worsening. And the funny part is people are always like, well, what about this company? Or what about that company? Like the market moves together, right? Yeah. Like Wells and Chase deteriorate at the same rate that wholesale lenders do the same rate that that direct lenders do and, you know, investment properties, it might be a little bit different and, and other loans might've changed with, with, with a different, you know, 184 bips versus 192 basis points. But in layman's terms, three, three eighths. eighths worse 
So let's the board. so let's do it one. I don't know if you have a do you have a mortgage calculator in front of you. I want to do some payments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let's do a. I don't know. We're in California, so let's do a four hundred k loan just for okay. grins. Four hundred k at three six or two six nine, which is what we started at August second. Is how much? Uh, it's going to be sixteen twenty for P and I. Sixteen twenty, and now whatever it was three point oh whatever three point oh four. Yeah. Okay. Now what is that? Sixteen ninety five. So you're you're. 1695. So you're seven, you're 75. No, you're yeah, 90, 75 bucks, 75 a, month. bucks yep. a month. So that's 758. That's 900 bucks a year. 900 bucks a year times 30 is almost 30 grand a year just by waiting. Right. And, right. and that's the thing too, is, is for some people, you know, we might've looked at it and said, okay, you're at a three, three, seven, five or three and a half and going down to 2.68 was going to save you three thousand dollars a year in interest mm -hmm. and so it made sense because it paid for itself in about a year mm -hmm. well when you go down to twenty one hundred dollars a year saves it, it just changes that calculation a bit and yeah. so you know the moral of the story where people can learn maybe is like you know don't take for granted those low interest rates like people <laughs> what they need to take for is your simple like it lock it <laughs> <laughs> right that's right. what they need to learn and it's, take it's, action it's really that simple too i don't know why people make it such a big deal like we ah. call the consumer is they're easy to predict. We got comfortable. We got lazy. We've had 40 years of generally speaking, lowering rates, 40 years. That is a hell of a trend. I think we've hit the bottom. Yeah. And the, the thing is too, is, is I'm probably more speaking to somebody who's been in the same loan for five years now. Yeah. Oh. Like lit, like two months ago, rates were 2.6, almost everybody you know, yeah. could benefit from it now. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, if you've been in that four, seven, five, and Mike, I have these conversations every day. Yeah. I'm mad at myself. I know I should have done this. They're almost embarrassed that they stuck in a 4.75% interest rate. And yeah. I say, listen, like, yeah, whatever, no big deal. You're here now, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I only can deal with now. I can't right. go back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can't change the past, but what we can do is, you know, take 20 minutes to fill out an application, get some docs in, and, and going forward, you're not going to pay extra interest to the banks, which, you know, I'll let everybody know here, like the banks will be just fine yeah. when, you, when you lower your interest rate to 3%. They don't yeah. need 4.75 to stay afloat. You're not going to, you're not going to crash the U.S. economy by uh, yeah. refinancing and saving some money. Folks, we did this last week. We're going to do it again. If you like it, lock it. If you are in a loan above 4.5%, reach out to Matt, the mortgage guys team at greatmortgagebroker.com. If you want to purchase refi one to fours, cheap money. He's the best in the business. He's part of this channel for over a year now. He's in the course. Uh, let's use him. Let's let's really flood that channel today. I know there's lots of people doing stuff. So, Matt, thank you for all you do. Yeah. Has it been over a year? I think so. Yeah. I think wow. It's just cool. about a year. Time flies when you're having fun. There you go. Thanks, buddy.